Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens and Staten, Upper East Side to the Lower Manhattan. What do these have in common? Well, the Android home screen tutorial for the day is called NY Streets, shown over here. Let us begin with today's tutorial. Okay, let's have a closer look, shall we? I'm shooting off location at the moment, that's why my background might look a bit different, but that doesn't mean I can still bring you a crazy cool home screen. This New York City inspired theme by Keen is not your average home screen as you can see we have no buttons at the top or bottom it's just all in the center here with these awesome looking triangles exposing the background of these streets it comes with the time the battery percentage the dates as well as these awesome looking indicators right here for your email your missed calls as well as your text messages don't worry though you can still get your app draw by swiping up so never have to worry about that I'll be using Apex Launcher for this as you can still use Nova settings but for some reason the widgets seem to be not as properly aligned but have no fear you can still do it so let us begin today's tutorial so this is a very short tutorial as it only comprises of changing your launcher settings applying wallpaper and then putting on UCCW widgets so let us begin with the launcher we're gonna be using Apex launcher for this like I said just because the widgets align a bit differently so we'll go options Apex settings we're going to our home screen settings. You want to change your portrait grid to an 8x5. Manage screens, you only want one screen. Wallpaper mode, you want single screen non-scrolling, as there's only one screen. And you want to hide notification bar and hide icon labels. Go back, you want to go to the dock settings, go to hide the dock. Finally, in behavior settings, what's always good, you can always push your home key to show your app draw. Or like here, I used swipe up to show my app draw. This just comes in handy if there's no app draw icon. Finally, we're going to advanced settings, and you want to maybe select overlapping widgets if the type of phone that you have calls for it. But other than that, you should be able to get away with it. And so we'll go back, and that is our Apex launcher settings completed. Now we're going to move on to our wallpapers. So now we're going to move on to our wallpaper. Start by holding down on the home screen and selecting wallpapers. And you want to go to quick pick as always I always love the quick pick and you want to select your wallpaper now about this wallpaper it might not fit every phone and that is because obviously the icons are built in onto the screen so have no fear though if you select it make sure the crop box is all around and then apply if your UCCW widgets don't always fit up exactly aligned you might just have to position them accordingly as I'll show you now so that is our wallpaper complete. Next we'll be moving on to our UCCW widgets. Okay, for our UCCW widgets, we're gonna hold down on the home screen and you wanna choose widgets and you wanna choose UCCW. Let's go for a nice 4x4. As I said, it doesn't really matter which size you choose and you wanna go open user because you're gonna be copying these user files onto your phone. You wanna go into NY Streets, NY Streets updated and let's start off with the streets. NY Streets, that's the time one. It'll appear like this, so you just wanna tap the hand and you just wanna resize it now over the triangle here. As you can see, you can make it over like that. And you wanna start with our notifications at the bottom. We'll go widgets, UCCW again. You can choose a two by two, go back into your NYC Streets and then you wanna go notif notif for notifications. And you'll tap the hand again. Remember if that hand doesn't go away, then just have to tap it and move it around a bit. What we have to do is, if it's like this, we'll just move it up one. And you just want to select the UCCW to bring up the editor and you'll go select object you want to go Gmail one you want to go to your account select your preferred email address you want to go into label and select inbox next I suggest going select object now and choosing hotspots as you can see Keen's been very kind as to really creating these hotspots set out for you that's for your Gmail your phone and then your messages if you'd like to change any of these you're welcome to by just selecting say this is number one hotspot one they even says so there you go just say like hotspot if you want it to be an app, you select an app. If you want a few UCCW settings, you select these here. Once you've configured it, you'll just go options again, hotspots mode on. Once you've turned your hotspots mode on, you can just verify it by say tapping your phone and it'll open up your dialer. Awesome stuff. And as always, you can just open up your app drawer by swiping up or just pushing the menu key. And always remember that if your UCCWs don't always align properly, you can just turn off your hotspots mode, select editor, select the position, and then move them around accordingly. So there we have our video tutorial for today. I hope you've enjoyed this home screen. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. Please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. This is Marco from My Color Screen, and I'll see you around next time.